Hello, Alex here again, Roadster Alex. Uh, today I'm going to uh, walk you through the video of installing a short shifter in the MO2 Spider. I have one here, which was on my 5-speed cage back on my 1CZ. And I went for the normal one on the 6-speed six, um, the six speed and the 2CZ, but I'm getting used to it. It's getting a bit, you know, annoying to shift, so I'm going to try and see what happens if I go back to the short shifter. So in this video, I'm quickly showing how to do and, you know, how it works. So here's my original shifter. Um, you can see it's quite long. And then we have the short shifter over here, um, which, you know, it is a lot shorter and you know it, yes it's more stiff as well but um you know it's something you should consider so to start with um of course you have to take this off but let's start with this basically um normally you would have to take those of your old shifter and the brushing here as well and then there is a um, pin here that you can just uh, take out by a little hammer um and that's kind of it and then you know uh, put the brushings there and everything but in this case because i already have a uh, short shifter here with everything already attached to it i don't have to do that so i can just start straight away on this however to make the process easier there are a few bolts here and on the other side and on the back there and the back there so what you want to do is take out the seats uh, to take out the seats there are two bolts there and there and um i will show you it's basically uh there and one here and then two on the back of the on the seats so just do two of them and it should be quite easy so to take out the seats you need 40 mil and as i said two bolts there two in the back so let's get started so with all four bolts removed laying over there um when you take out the seats you want to be careful because there's a wire under so i lift up the seat a little bit and you can see the wire sitting there you just have to take this one off um so what i tend to do is take a flat screwdriver put it in here and because with your finger it's quite hard to do and it will pop up pop right off with the seat removed you now i have access to those bolts i'm missing here but one is there so you can just take whatever it is uh, normally it's 10 mil um i think i replaced mine a while ago um so you just get yourself you know what's this 10 mil um not sure what the original bolts are by the way um because my mid console isn't great anymore so but basically you just you know take it off okay all the way now with the seat out um it's easier to remove this two bolts for there um make sure when you lift this all up that you disconnect the uh, window switches which are at the back over there so disconnect them with a uh, flat screwdriver as well now the next thing you want to do is disconnect those 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 and there's one over there on that side just keep in mind those are not the original ones those are my modified ones you want to take out uh, those cables as well you can do it, you know, leave it in place, but it's a bit hard to do. So, um, as I said, and then you have to disconnect this part over here. Connect this one over there. I will show you that one. Over there, which disconnects to here. They basically plop out, you know, like using a little plier. And the, or, or, you know, your finger or whatever. And they will just basically just plop out. Um, and then, you know, I will show you the rest. So, um... As you can see, you removed the four bolts, the little thing over there. Um, you want to make sure you use, uh, or you make, sorry, you make a picture of how this is bolted. Um, you can see it. So make sure you, you document this because it hasn't been my first time. I spent hours on trying to get this one back on. It is absolutely horrible to do. So this is how it should be. Um, when you disconnect this clip, it should pop, pop right off. So here you go, with these uh, clip removed there, you can see it's still on it. Normally you have to transfer that part over, um, you know, it pops right off. Um, 
in the meanwhile since you're at it anyway um you can clean it up you, and you can uh, use this area here to uh, mount the um, parking sensor cables and that you can see in my uh, one of my previous videos where i insert this so um the parking sensors this is a very very location to put them nicely through here make sure it's you know it's it's all tight gripped against this cable maybe make sure that they are nice and flat so they don't catch with the, the shifter etc if you want you can maybe make a you know make a bracket or something you know over there um so but that's for uh you know the parking sensor video time to clean it up and uh transfer that one over or take this one off and transfer to the other one and do it reverse so so for the next part you take a um, screwdriver phillips screwdriver like this and um, this one actually sits near so you just put it right in there take a hammer or just do it by hand and it will go out and when you don't do that you can able you're able to remove it like this so with a lot of force um actually you can see i destroyed a bit on that one is very easy but in this one is i know it was really annoying um but you have to take this off um i have the one that was on it here you can see it's broken um but the one that i had here it's, well, it's still a bit broken but it's okay i'll get a new one of those anyway so what you would have to do is you know put a, take a knife or flat screwdriver put it under the washer and keep um uh, you know wiggling and everything till it pops off which is a bit to do most likely you have to replace it so just make sure you buy one of those so here's everything back together make sure that those two are pointing down test the shifter you know to see if everything you know goes the way it should be going which seems like it does and then build it back in and before you put everything in see if it works so um with this clip back we attached remember we uh we took a note how it was one clip attached so um you can see it moves it um well it doesn't go up and down but that's because um it's not attached so normally you know if it sits in the right location it should go up and down as well we can we can go left and right and um, you can see it, it because it tries to move the gears which is a bit hard of course when you're not in not at the clutch in so um but this should be fine you can i can hear the gear so um go to put everything back together now so what i tend to do is to put two bolts in and then align the bolts um at the rear or the back whatever you want to call it um because it makes it a lot easier you know to align everything um, so that's what I'm doing right now. So here's a short shifter back in. Um, what I like to do is to check and see if everything is connected before I put the seats in. So you just, you know, put your foot in the clutch. One, reverse. So one, two, three, four. Five is a bit hard. Six. So. Seems to be an issue there with five there. Um, so, could be me. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Nope. So, oh, here we go, five. Five is a bit more tighter um, than you know you used to. So, three is a bit closer now. So, so this is five. Three is somewhere here now. Four, five, six. Now it's a bit of, you know, you need to get used to it. Um, that was my problem in the beginning anyway so um you know basically you have to get you know get used to it how it is again um so this is neutral at least i think it is um 
you can see it points a bit to the right i don't know if that's a i don't know if that's a solution for it because it should be nice if it would be like this um you can see here see it points a bit to the right um but um i might be thinking of getting a shift uh custom shifter cage in the end um i think the one for the case swap should be able to be able to use with the with shifters i'm not sure yet um but this is basically you know how you um put a short shifter in the uh, mr2 spider so just put everything back together put the seats back drive a little, a little bit make sure everything is correct before you uh, build everything back permanently um and if you are happy then just you know bolt everything back in just going on test drive here 